During its heydays, close to five decades ago, pen paper was a symbol of Kenya's emerging industrial prowess. During its heydays, close to five decades ago, pen paper was a symbol of Kenya's emerging industrial prowess. The company was the dominant employer in Western Kenya, supporting more than 100,000 people along the paper milling value chain. Before political interference, coupled by poor management and corruption, conspired to bring the giant miller to her knees. When the roar of the huge turbines at Pan Paper Mills went silent in the year 2009, Wabuya Town died, subjecting its inhabitants to a life of abject poverty and desperation. We have together been briefed by PricewaterhouseCoopers, who are the joint receivers of Pan Paper Mills, about an agreement that has been reached with a strategic investor to purchase the assets of a plant that would have otherwise been laid to waste. After years of unmet promises, the government has today announced what appears to be the beginning of a new dawn for the troubled miller. For Kenyans born in the 60s and 70s, plant paper represented a symbol of Kenya's <coughs> progress, where Bue was a vibrant town with a diligent, productive population of workers, traders, farmers and their families. President Uhuru Kenyatta announced that PricewaterhouseCoopers, which has been acting as the receiver manager for Kenya Commercial Bank, has reached an agreement with a strategic investor to purchase the assets of the plant. The agreement provides not just for the purchase of the meal, but also for the revival of an industrial icon in Western Kenya, a major source of livelihood for the people of this region, President Kenyatta told political leaders drawn from Western Kenya region. The handover of the mill of the new investor is scheduled to happen next week and plans are to restart its operations within the next three months. This mill for the last decade has been plagued by massive debt and improper management, all of which have conspired to deprive Ngoma and Western Kenya more widely of the jobs and prosperity that they deserve. The investor has also pledged to inject over the next few years 6 billion Kenya shillings in modernizing the mill. Mills will be given priority in hiring of 1,500 workers to operate the paper miller.